What if the world as we know it is about to change forever, right before our eyes? What hidden forces lie beneath the surface, driving a wedge through an entire continent? Explore with us into the heart of Africa's untamed wilderness as we open the layers of the mysterious truth behind this remarkable transformation. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of Earth's ever-evolving tale in Africa is splitting into two continents? The Reason The Earth's outer layer, known as the lithosphere, is composed of large, rigid pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are in constant motion, albeit very slowly due to the movement of the semi-solid layer beneath them called the asthenosphere. The movements of these tectonic plates are responsible for various geological phenomena such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the formation of mountains. In East Africa, there is a region called the East African Rift System or EARS where a unique geological phenomenon is taking place. This region is characterized by the interaction of three tectonic plates, the African Plate, the Somali Plate, and the Arabian Plate, which are gradually moving away from each other. As these plates diverge, the Earth's crust in the region becomes stretched, causing it to thin and eventually break apart. This process creates a long valley known as a Rift Valley, which is marked by a series of faults, fissures, and volcanic activity. Over millions of years, the tectonic plates involved in the East African Rift System will continue to move apart, causing the Rift Valley to widen further. As the Rift Valley expands, the ocean will eventually flood the region, forming a new ocean basin between the separating plates. This new ocean will effectively split the American continent into two distinct landmasses. Why does rifting happen? When a lithosphere is subjected to a horizontal extensional force, the lithosphere will stretch resulting in a reduction in thickness. It is inevitable that it will split which will result in the construction of a rift valley. This process is followed by surface signs along the rift valley such as seismic activity and volcanic activity. These surface manifestations can be seen along the Rift Valley. Rifts are the first step of a continental breakup which, if it's successful, can lead to the emergence of a new ocean basin. Rifts can also be found in other continents. Have you ever noticed how the coastlines of South America and Africa fit together like pieces of a puzzle? This is one example of a location in Earth where this has occurred. The South Atlantic Ocean has formed as a result of the breakup of South America and Africa approximately 138 million years ago. The existence of extensional forces that are strong enough to shatter the lithosphere is necessary for the process of continental rifting. The East African Rift is an example of an active type of rift in which the circulation of the mantle under the surface acts as the primary driver of the stresses that cause the rift to form. Underneath this rift, the ascent of a sizable mantle plume is doming the lithosphere upwards. This is causing the lithosphere to become thinner as a consequence of the rise in temperature as well as to strain and fracture as a result of faulting. Is it that easy? Rifts are distinguished by their extremely unique topography which is characterized by a succession of depressions that are bounded by faults and enclosed by higher terrain. From space, it is possible to make out within the East African system a sequence of aligned rift valleys that are physically separated from one another by enormous bounding faults. These cracks did not all appear at the precise same time but rather followed a pattern that began in the Afar region of northern Ethiopia some 30 million years ago and propagated southwards into Zimbabwe at an average rate of between 2.5 and 5 centimeters per year. In spite of the fact that rifting is, for the most part, imperceptible to humans, earthquakes can be caused by the development of new faults, fissures and cracks as well as by the resumption of movement along previously established faults as the Nubian and Somali plates continue to move apart. On the other hand, the vast majority of the seismic activity in East Africa is dispersed over a large zone that spans the Rift Valley and its magnitude is rather moderate. An additional visible indication of the ongoing process of continental break apart in the proximity of the hot molten asthenosphere to the surface is the ongoing activity of volcanism that is occurring alongside this process. Will everything be ended? One thing that's certain that is when the African continent finally splits into two parts, it will lead to a series of gradual changes in the environment, ecosystems and human societies. However, it is important to remember that this process will take place over millions of years 
giving ample time for adaptation and minimizing the potential for sudden and catastrophic events. One of the major consequences of this continental split will be increased volcanic and seismic activity along the rift zone. The movement of tectonic plates and the formation of new faults along the rift may lead to an increase in seismic activity including earthquakes. While most of these earthquakes are likely to be minor, there is a possibility that larger, more destructive earthquakes could occur, posing a threat to human populations and infrastructure in affected areas. As the Rift Valley widens and eventually becomes an ocean basin, it will significantly impact the region's drainage patterns and ecosystems. The alteration of existing river courses, the formation of new lakes, and the disappearance of some water bodies may occur. These changes can have profound implications for local ecosystems and human populations that rely on these water resources. Once the Rift Valley transforms into an ocean basin, the newly formed coastline will be subject to coastal erosion, sedimentation, and other coastal processes. Additionally, as the new ocean basin fills with water, global sea levels may rise slightly, potentially contributing to coastal flooding. The division of the African continent into two separate landmasses will also have long-term socio-economic and political consequences. New boundaries will need to be established, and the distribution of resources may change. Infrastructure such as roads and bridges will need to adapt to new geography, and populations living near the rift zone may need to relocate over time. C. The splitting of Africa into two continents will result in various potential hazards and consequences, such as increased volcanic and seismic activity, changes in drainage patterns and ecosystems, coastal changes and socio-economic and political implications. Safety Measures As it's a result of the Earth's natural evolution, however, there are ways to mitigate potential hazards and better prepare for the long-term consequences of this continental rift. By closely monitoring the geological activity in the East African Rift system, scientists can gain valuable insights into the ongoing processes and potential hazards avoiding construction in high-risk areas such as near active volcanic zones or along fault lines can help minimize the impact of future geological events and also governments and local communities should invest in disaster preparedness and response measures to minimize the impact collaborating with neighboring countries and international organizations to develop joint strategies for monitoring preparedness and response will be crucial to managing the long-term consequences of this geological phenomenon and this whole process of a continent splitting is a very slow process that takes place over millions of years. Hence, in this way, we won't witness any dramatic changes during our lifetime. The splitting of Africa into two continents is a fascinating example of how the constant movement of tectonic plates shapes our planet's surface. Although the changes are not perceptible on a human timescale, Understanding these geological processes helps us gain a deeper appreciation for the dynamic nature of Earth's geology. So if you enjoyed this voyage into the world of continental rifting and its impact on Africa and our planet, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating videos on the wonders of our world. We'd also love to hear your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Thank you for joining us on this awe-inspiring expedition. And until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the mysteries of our incredible Earth.